Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. Hurricane Harvey has severely affected the lives of many Texans. It has also brought many people together as good-hearted men and women voluntarily put themselves in harm's way to help their fellow Americans in need. Unfortunately, there's always a small segment of society that sees disasters as an opportunity for mischief. As WGNO reports, looters shot at the Cajun Navy and attempted to steal their boats. As a result, the Cajun Navy is regrouping, establishing a command center to better organize its rescue efforts. The Cajun Navy is a legendary volunteer rescue organization from Louisiana that formed after Hurricane Katrina to aid people affected by historic floods in New Orleans and later in Baton Rouge and Acadiana. It's made up of boat owners who use their private resources to provide relief, including saving people stranded on top of their homes. With the devastating floods brought on by Hurricane Harvey, the Cajun Navy has offered an invaluable service, rescuing many families who had nowhere to go as the floodwaters overtook everything beneath them. However, not everyone received the Cajun Navy warmly. A rescuer named Clyde Kane described the efforts of looters who tried using force to seize the rescuer's boats. The Cajun Navy expected the peril of the extreme weather, but they were surprised to find Texans shooting at them. When one of the boats broke down, looters approached, firing shots at the Cajun Navy so they could claim the inoperable boat for themselves. Kane stated that the violence only made rescue efforts more difficult. They're making it difficult for us to rescue them, Kane said. You have people rushing the boat. Everyone wants to get in at the same time. They're panicking. Water is rising. Nevertheless, the Cajun Navy remains committed to helping Texans in distress. Currently, the Cajun Navy is receiving invaluable support from Tasha Sieb, a local Houstonian who used to live in New Orleans. Sieb runs a Cajun Navy dispatch from her home. The rescuers recruit through a Facebook page. They have also created a website through which stranded residents can input their information, which is then forwarded to rescuers. Hurricane Harvey has showcased the bravery and selflessness of the American people. As Briette Barr notes, President Trump plotted the efforts of rescuers. If you watch on television, you just see such incredible work and love, and teamwork. We are one American family. We hurt together, we struggle together, and, believe me, we endure together. We are one family, he said. As CNN reported, Trump has already landed in Texas and is personally overseeing federal disaster relief. In this, he is avoiding the mistakes of his predecessors George W. Bush and Barack Obama who were heavily criticized for their lax responses to Hurricane Katrina and destructive Louisiana flooding respectively. This has been a rare case of people placing their differences aside to help citizens when it most counts. While the good feelings may not last long, it's a welcome change to see. If even for a moment, the American people comprise one nation and provide support for one another when it really counts.